in the Chalby Desert with Capital in the Morning. Stand by, get some more music coming up. But they're finally here. Yes, we've been waiting a decade and a half. And we finally have them. They have landed in Nairobi. They are the guys who brought you this particular dance track. Oh, that's DJ Protege's version of that particular song, but this is the original version. Party to that, and of course, this I we actually played this earlier on. Laura Lubengo actually introduced me to this particular track, Addicted Camp Mula, and of course, uh, Fresh All Day. Clan actually hey. have the whole bunch of them. Uh, quick introduction, of course. Uh, yeah, we have in studio with us. <laughs> I was gonna say ladies first, so then it's Karen. All right, hey, the hey. only lady in the group. The only lady in the group. Yes, it's yes. Karen. Most people call me Karun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Miss Karen, I'm just saying. I'm joking. Oh, Miss Karen, yeah. And uh, it's your boy, DMC Africa, uh, Teo Tripper. So, and I'm joined here by my brothers, but they're on the and they're in the waiting room. Uh, but Shuffle Man, yeah, yeah. Kusma, and Mikey CEO, so Kamula, Kamula's in the building. Poli Kuchalewa. Ah, uh, Karib Sana, Karib Sana. Do you have like baptized names apart from the others? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kwa majina naitwa Matayo Matthew. Matthew. <laughs> Karangari, Mangai. There you go, and I, should expo I expose the other fellows. Yeah, sure. yeah, go ahead. Mulika them, Mulika them. There's <laughs> Benoit, Benoit, Benoit Kanema, Marcus Kibokosia, and <laughs> Michael Mutoni. There you go, make it a cup Mula. Now you guys, you've been going in leaps and bounds. It's absolutely amazing. Everyone is celebrating your music in Kenya. At the moment, you are the biggest thing in Africa. You've just been nominated. Tell us about that. Well, that's it. <laughs> Seriously, Chilo, yeah, it's exciting. People voting, vote, vote, vote. We I think it's really, I think the fact that uh, alone that it's finally time that Kenya gets, you know, the spotlight that it's getting. So not even the fact that Kamula got nominated, but at least now Kenya is definitely on the map. And uh, I think it's time we can compete and be recognized on the African circuit in terms of music. Because, you know, West Africa has really been dominating that. So we're excited. We're honored. And uh, I mean, who wouldn't, who wouldn't be thrilled to be the first? You know? And I love the fact, the fact that it, it's, it's, your music is, it's hip hop, but it has a lot of other influences so to speak mm. what what brings that about Marcus Kibokosia Kus no I'm playing but uh, he's the, he's the producer he, he managed to find the the unique sound that you hear and uh, that does not become identifiable as Kamula 
So uh, all you were trying to do basically is because hip hop, there's not too many guys who are uh, as keen to listen to all the lyrics and you know have the patience to to take that all in. So what we did was just make the songs a little bit more commercial, a little bit more mainstream, so that even you know Laura, Laura Walubengo can bang to it. You know what I'm saying? So Laura bangs <laughs> just about anything. Laura's you know addicted. <laughs> but uh, above and beyond that, we we have to be you know realistic about the fact that you guys are quite young. So how do you balance it out with, I'm, I'm guessing, uh, campus and stuff like that? And of course, being in yeah. the limelight, Miss Karoo. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think the passion is really what just keeps it going. Because we're doing this, I mean, we can't be doing anything else. We wouldn't be happy doing anything else. So it's this and everything else that we have to do. We just school, balance it. We just have to. This happens. Plus, we got African parents too. Let's not get it. <laughs> yeah, it's not like I would love to just wake up late and then go to the studio um, and like four. You have to go to school. Yeah, exactly. So th those are the those are the traditional things. Like regardless of what you think you are. Regardless. Right. So some of us are, are forced, you know. So. We but do, you're mainly with 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 stars all over Africa, all over the world. Actually, you just did this particular track with Wiz Kid. Wiz Kid, shout out Wiz Kid. Who's know. recorded with Akon? Actually, is it Akon or, or Akon? Yes. Yes, Akon. He is with Akon right now. So, yeah. oh, oh, when you go to school, is it like, you know, you're treated differently, like, oh my God, Miss Karun is coming, we better make way. <laughs> or how, how, Yo, how actually, is it? What are you, Karen? No, I, I know it's oh, like, oh. what is it like for you? I know it's well, like I'm just, just I've just graduated, so I haven't seen much of that. But people, I don't know, keep, I surround myself with the real people. They're not, they're not fans, they're not fanatics, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, we, we know real people. <laughs> Tata Washuka, not Tata mentioning. Shuka. Tata, Tata Shuka, Shuka. Not, not mentioning. <laughs> but quickly, as yeah. we get into the Chalbi, this is all about, we know Cap Mula, we know you guys do great songs, you have an album out, it's absolutely amazing, you've been nominated, Chanelo, uh, oh, what's Can else? I actually just ask yes. though, yes. The, the name Cap Mula, where did it yes. come from? Yeah, where does yeah. that come from? The name Cap Mula basically came about because camp, because uh, just very quickly I was being sent to Christian camp, this is, I'm talking two, three years ago, I was being sent to Christian camp, no, no, I was going rather, <laughs> to Christian camp, uh, and my brother, Mikey CEO, had asked me to, to come up with some names, like about, she's like, write 10 to 15 names of, uh, of anything that you think that we could call this group. So camp came about because where I was going, and then Moolah, because that's what we were trying to make money off, off, off of what, you know, off this new uh, talent, this new obsession. From a Christian group. No, not from a Christian group. I was going oh, to right. Christian camp. Christian camp. Coming back. Keep but, there uh, you go. Yeah, so, so that's it. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So that's I'm how Kabula saying. came. But funny enough, we didn't know it was going to stick and build, build, build. But as it picked up, so now, now it's just too late to change it. So, <laughs> Kamula. All right. Yeah. Stuck. As we get into the Chalbi, it's all about you guys. So, should we swap? There you go. So we'll start with you. Where were you born? I was born in Nairobi, Aga Khan Hospital, actually. I don't know about the wing, the room, or whatever, but that's, that's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's as far as the details. That's as far as the details. Of course, uh, not married. No. Are you? No. Not married, not married. Uh, definitely looking, but, <laughs> but uh, yeah, single, single as we speak, as we speak, as my Facebook status says, you know. All right. Miss Karun, born? Born in Nairobi Hospital, Nairobi, Kenya, yeah. <laughs> that, that was that. And yeah. perhaps uh, not married, but but you you're in a group full of you know dudes. Too dudes. many men. Dudes. Dudes. <laughs> are, are you are you single? Uh, relatively, yeah. Can you stop? See, this, this, so, is, this, this is, is a, that's that's a bit of an unfair question to ask because Tata Shuka is Tata sitting Shuka in the is just sitting in the corner. I know, looking over her, yeah, looking over her anyway. Better be careful how you answer that question. No, 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 but 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 uh, of course, uh, I, I, I would assume if uh, you are seeing anyone, they'd be like, oh my god, you are working with, you know, guys, and it's. Do you really, think it'd be intimidating? Of course. I don't know. Would it? Yeah, <laughs> we are very, very serious. And, no, you, know, you guys are yeah. so protective. It's not but even like that. I, I assume because uh, like four or five guys, they they treat you like you know a little sister, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Wow, Tata Shuka will be happy to know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how how was your childhood coming up? Did you know that you're going to be doing music through and through, or it's something you picked up through you know? Uh, I would definitely say I didn't know I was going to be doing music, but uh, my dad used to be a DJ. He's, a, he's you know, I mean, he's he's a fan of music. He's keen. So there was always music playing. We were always singing to something, listening to something. 
So I just knew along the, I, knew, I always knew it was going to be a part of my life somehow. But uh, the fact that I'll go into rapping and songwriting and all that, I did, I wasn't, I wasn't aware of that early on. Miss mm. yeah. uh, Karen, uh, did you always grow up? I think I want to be famous. Yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. And you know, uh -huh. if you want something badly enough, it always ends up happening. Apparently. That's true. That's definitely true. Yeah. Um, so it's obviously great childhoods, but everyone has a bit of memories that they would, you know, that weren't so great. What's your most terrible memory? <laughs> The dentist, that's what I'm going to say, because I actually just thought about it right now. I know the dentist was always bad for me, but um, um, other than that, Monday morning school, waking up at 6.30, 7, kid yeah, or whatever, like today, yeah, sort of, yeah, that, yeah. that was, that's, that's what... That Even was. back in the 80s, it was still the same. <laughs> <laughs> don't, worry, don't worry about it. Miss Karin, you saw? I feel like my worst memory, probably cross-country. I hated mm. cross-country. Oh, yeah. mm. The sun, eh, the heat, I uh, didn't like it. <laughs> you, you bad people to what do you mean? cross country. Look at that. Shags, being close to go to Shags. Are you a beach or a bush person? Beach or a bush? Oh, definitely beach. Beach. Mm -hmm. Any day. Any day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? Like Naivasha versus coast? Yes. Ah. Okay, oh my god, that's hard. Naivasha, I like the scenery and everything, but coast is just always where it's at. Yeah. Coast, man. Fantastic. We have in studio with us Camp Mula. And uh, feel free to in the morning, ask any question you want. And of course, we shall be having them in the Chalbi Desert, asking them those dodgy questions. And we have the second batch. It's a whole Wu-Tang Clan, I'm telling you, in the studio. So we'll have the second guys coming in and uh, getting to know more about Camp Mula. 2-5 flow, is it? 2-5 flow. 2-5 flow, exactly. Fantastic. Yeah. We got it. We're being hip right here on 984 <laughs> in the morning. We got you. <laughs>